carry it on. Yeah. Your relaxed style, could it be possibly conceived by more traditionalists as being in conflict with church values, with Christian values? Yeah, it could be perceived by, by other traditional Christians, but, but we can't control that perception. All we can do is be ourselves. And, and the Bible is very clear on what church is, and there's not many things in the Bible about what church is. It's very, it's very simple. It's, it's about relationships, and it's about loving and inspiring people. It's about doing life with people, and it, it's about glorifying God. And again, one of the reasons that I personally think that church has lost its edge is because we've, we've almost sanctified traditions but the traditions aren't in the bible they're, they're man-made traditions and if we get back to what church is it's about relationship it's about people it's about engaging god and people and and how informal is that we ask the city to come to the church but it's the church that should be going to the city we created a church leadership team yeah um and you've created six campuses across the city is that right yeah can you tell us a little bit about what's involved with a leadership team and how the campuses operate? How it all operates and works. Yeah, leadership is massively important. And again, one of the things I think church has um, lost its way on is, is it's lost its understanding of what leadership is. And, and everything rises and falls on leadership. And you've got to have strong leadership in place to actually lead a, a community of people forward. And um, our leadership team is a phenomenal team. They're, they're, they're so committed and loyal to one another and they mm -hmm. such a servant heart. And um, they just, honestly, their, their spirit as people is beautiful. They're not, they're not people that are designed to be on a stage or anything like that. They're just, they're just so great people to, to have in my life personally, just on a relational level. They're phenomenal people. And they're very godly people as well. You know, they, they, they're, they're very clean people and are just wonderful people to, to have in my life personally. And how that works is they, they bring simply this. They bring vision and governance to an infrastructure as an organisation. So we've got a great organisational structure and the basis of how we operate is to empower people and delegate people because who, what we are as a church is we love people for who they are and inspire them to become all that they can be. So we've got to build an infrastructure that will inspire people to do greater things than we could do as a leadership. So actually we, we're kind of, we might be the face but we're the hidden foundational dimension that everything's built up and above. And You're the facilitators. Yeah. Okay. So, <clears throat> having been here today and seen one of your services, you've got a fantastic setup, loads of space, <laughs> lots of technology. How do you share that setup with the whole wider community? The community of 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 the area. Do you share with the local community of Abbey Halton, or yeah. how, or is the uh, facility open to people from across the region? Yeah, we do. Um, we we use this centre as a conference centre for different um, organisations, communities, agencies. We um, have a, a, a massive amount of um, community engagement programs with kids and youth and students and old people. And all our campuses work to serve the community in which they're in. So, for instance, we've just set up a half a million pound um, community campus in Mia. And that's simply there to, to be a hub of activity in the community. And out of that, there's all sorts of things that are based from there. And that's what we use our facilities for. Again, they're not church steeples, they're buildings that can be used for people. So we have to build them and design them as people friendly. We have to build them and design them in a way that people can access, i.e. via internet or those kind of things. And, and, and again, saying internet, internet kind of is an unofficial campus. We have 2,000 visits a week onto our website and people come there and relate there and Twitter and all that kind of stuff. So everything we use is, is for that purpose. So, given that you've got this place, yeah. which is quite a large building, yeah. full of technology, mm -hmm. full of people and helpers, workers, and you've got six mm -hmm. campuses, yeah. that's the term you yeah, use, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Must cost a small fortune. Yeah. How do you fund it? We, um, we do what the Bible says, and the Bible says we've got to give. And so, so part of our culture, part of who we are as an organisation is we're, we're generous. And, and we do give, and, and, and we believe in giving. We believe in that dimension of generosity. We also believe in being very shrewd in activity, so we, we, we pursue grants. And we don't, we're not very successful at that, actually. We don't really get a lot of grants, mm -hmm. because people think that all we're trying to do is get people into church, mm -hmm. so they don't give us the grants, where we're doing great stuff, mm -hmm. um, and we're not trying to get people into church, we're trying to serve people. Mm -hmm. um, but there, there's a kind of discrimination in that aspect, in my personal opinion. Um, that we have to address and constantly fight. And then we also do things like fundraising. 
So um, um, we'll, we'll sell donuts or we'll, we'll try and you know car washes or car boot sales or we'll do that kind of stuff that will raise money. We've done an album, so our music team have done an album, so we sell that, which obviously brings money in and that kind of thing. So we, we try and be very entrepreneurial at the same time because it does cost a lot of money to do. Okay. <clears throat> do you all fund it from your congregation? Yeah. Or is there, have you got an umbrella organisation who assists you or do who direct you? No, we're part of the denomination, um, but no, our congregation, so we don't get money from the denomination. So, sorry, as a parishioner here, would you? What would you say to someone who was unsure about religion, unsure about coming along to Bethel City Church? Um, what sort of reception could they expect if they turned up here on a Sunday? You can be made to feel very, very welcome, and give us a try. Please come, please come and check us out. I think it'll blow you away. I'm sure you Whatever you think about church, uh, we'll put those thoughts aside and um, come open minded, open hearted. And uh, Jesus, the Bible says that Jesus made a way that we could get to him and know him. And um, it, there is a way that you can know Jesus. And I encourage you to come to church to know Jesus and uh, get connected to people. It's, uh, it's a phenomenal house and it's a place where people can get to know each other and feel at home and uh, be loved and inspired, so it's a great place and uh, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else.